Hi there. If you built your Zwift Hub and are ready to put your bike on the trainer, this video is for you. The first thing you need to do is remove the rear wheel. Before you do that, shift to the largest chain ring in front and the smallest cog on the cassette. This will make removing the wheel easier. If you have rim brakes, open the rear brake. Identify if you have a quick release or through axle. Quick release skewers are thinner and have springs on the end. If you have a quick release, open the lever 180 degrees and remove the rear wheel. Have a through axle? Use an Allen key or the handle on the through axle to unscrew and remove it from the frame. Keep the through axle handy, you'll need it later. Next, push the rear derailleur out of the way and remove the wheel. Now onto the adapter card. Select the appropriate adapter instruction card. Quick release, pink, through axle, green. Time to measure the width of your dropouts. Take the relevant adapter instruction card and using the side with the measuring ruler, place that between the inside faces of your dropouts. Quick releases measure 130 millimeters or 135 millimeters. Through axles measure 142 millimeters or 148 millimeters. Now then, adapters. For quick release, the drive side adapter comes pre-installed on the trainer. Take the other adapter from the adapter instruction card. A fun thing about this bit of hardware, the distance between your dropouts dictates the way you insert it. Insert the proper side first. The color on the adapter should be visible if you have 135 millimeter wide dropouts. Not so if they're 130 millimeter. Insert the quick release skewer that comes in the box. Do this by unscrewing the end with the nut and taking one of the springs off. This is important and bears repeating. Take one of the springs off. Feed the quick release skewer through the trainer from the non-drive side. Reinstall the spring, thread the nut on, don't tighten the skewer just yet. For through axle, you need to remove the drive side quick release adapter first that comes pre-installed on the trainer. Using the wrench provided in the box, loosen and remove that adapter. Then take the through axle drive side adapter out of the adapter instruction card and hand screw it into position. Then take the wrench and tighten the drive side adapter. Do not over tighten this adapter because you could damage the bearings. If you have a torque wrench, the drive side adapter should be tightened to six Newton meters. Take the non drive side adapter out of the adapter instruction card and insert it the appropriate way around. The coloring on the adapter should be visible if you have 148 millimeter wide dropouts. Now it's time to put your bike back on the trainer. We recommend using your small chain ring in the front and shifting your rear derailleur to the middle of the range of gears. For instance, if you have 10 gears, shift into gear number five or six. Lower your bike onto the trainer while pushing the derailleur out of the way. Put the dropouts into place and tighten the quick release skewer or through axle. Give it a good jiggle to ensure the bike is secure. Turn the pedals. If you hear a ticking noise or any skipping from the chain, shift up or down to align your chain with the Zwift cog. You're trying to get your chain line as straight as possible. If you need help further adjusting your gears, we do have a support article for that. And we're done. Pretty painless, right? With your bike set up, you're ready for the next video where we'll go over the final steps to get you Zwifting on your Zwift Hub.